Hi, my name is Tomonori Kagaya. Uh, this is the first time I speak uh, in English about my product in abroad. Uh, today, I'd like to uh, talk about my project and my thoughts about future communication. Three years ago, I started a project called Neuroware. Our mission is to create new experiences in the communications area using technologies. Nekomimi is our first product. I'll show you how it works. This ear is those ears working with our brain waves. And Nekomimi means cat ear in Japanese. Fencing concentrate on something, the ears prick up. And when she relaxes, the ears lay down. The function is very simple, but, <laughs> but it's a completely new type of communication too. People always, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. People always ask me, why did you create Neko Mimi? Uh, three years ago, we used to have daily discussion about how will communication be in the future. There are two types of communication verbal and non-verbal, email, chat, SMS, conversation, letter, are based on words. However, there are other ways of communication that do not use words, such as facial expressions, tone of voice, and gestures. So we thought maybe there are also, other types of information that we don't use now. Brain activity is one of that we thought. We are familiar with that word, but we never use it for communication with others. Right around that time, I went to visit Silicon Valley. I visited a company called NeuroSky a venture company based in San Jose. Neuroskies were building a new CPU module that could measure brain waves. This is a module called Sync Gear, built in Nekomimi. This tiny module senses a faint signal from our brain, filters out extraneous noise. We can get brain wave patterns like attention and meditation by using this module. Sync Gear enables us to measure brain waves easily. Before Sync Gear, we need to put such a lot of sensors on our head. Now we can get brain wave using a simple device. Also, the cost of the device gone down considerably. When I returned to Japan, we had brainstorming about what can we create by using this technology. After some brainstorming session, one idea appeared. That was Nekomimi. This is concept sketch for Nekomimi. And uh, we don't have any uh, document except this one. Nekomimi was born from this sketch. Kana, she's uh, one of our members. Uh, she's a very shy creator. So 
she is not able to, she is not able to express her feeling uh, directly to others. So she wanted to create a tool that express her feelings and emotions without language. This one is first prototype. Motors with hair band. We check the power and noise. Next, we connect those motors with brainwave sensor. But at that time, I and he, he is a co-founder of Neuroware, found a big problem. We couldn't find any fun about it. We looked at each other, and I thought, maybe we should stop developing this. Then, a robot creator who made our prototype, he said to me, Kagaya-san, how about putting paper ears on this prototype? It's quick and easy to check the motion. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Let's try, I said. So we did. Next one is very impressive moment for us. Please, <laughs> got next to movie. <laughs> All of us uh, laughed when, when we see this movement. Uh, this one is the same prototype I showed you previously, right? Just added paper ears on the motor. But the impression is completely different. Something new was happening. Uh, something new was born, I felt. After this moment, we decided to create Nekomimi on full power. We refine shapes and positions over and over because a little change makes big difference. Next, we connected Nekomimi with smart, smart device to uh, see the status of brain. And one month later, Nekomimi was completed. We had a demo at Tokyo, and many people tried Nekomimi. Not only adults, but also kids enjoyed Nekomimi. And two days after the first demo, Reuters reporter found us and came to interview. Nekomimi, or Katia's in Japanese, and it doubles as a communication device. She's kinda, she's very shy, but she is the mother of Nekomimi. After Reuters report, Nekomimi spread all over the world in a few days. The end of 2011, Time magazine selected Nekomimi as one of the best inventions of the year. I was very surprised. They sent me, Time magazine sent me an uh, email. Uh, we selected uh, your Nekomimi as the uh, best invention of the year. So please send your product uh, to New York next, in, within next week. It was a really interesting experience for me. And one year after first demo, we released Nekomimi for consumer version. This one. I think we were so lucky. And uh, it was a wonderful experience for us. And after Nekomimi, we started next project. Music. That was our next theme. Why did I choose music as a uh, next theme? I think many innovative services and products had happened, uh, had appeared in the field of music before as a field. By watching on the field of music, I thought that perhaps we could discover a few hints about the future. 
First, we made music player called Neural Turntable. This turntable working with our brain waves. Put the records on the turntable and get the brain wave sensor and focus on the music. Turntable, start playing. But when he lost concentration, turntable stops automatically. <laughs> Next one is Brain Disco. It's a system for party. Users put brain wave sensors on their head. And their brainwave status are showing on the screen. And DJ have 60 points. If user felt bored, DJ lose their points. <laughs> and all points disappear. DJ have to change another DJ. Maybe we could use this system for yesterday's night uh, karaoke party. <laughs> <laughs> While developing those products, we had many discussions about music listening environment. Then we found there was a big problem. Now we can listen to over 10 million songs if we use music subscription service like Spotify, Pandora, or Audio. But how do we encounter new music? Use a search box? But you cannot search for something that you don't know. If you don't know the title, artist name, genre, then how can we find song? We need another approach. Let music find us. Don't go searching for music. Let music find us. That must be a new experience. This is our answer, Miko. It's short for music inspiration from your subconsciousness. Miko detects your brainwave and plays the music automatically that fits your mood. Miko, I'll explain about Miko system. Inspiration from your subconsciousness. Miko frees the user from having to select songs and artists and allows users to encounter new music just by wearing the device. The Miko system is made up of two parts, the Miko headphone and the Miko app for iPhone. The Miko headphone detects brain waves through the sensor on your forehead. The Miko app then automatically analyzes the user's condition of the brain and searches for music that best matches from the Miko database and plays the selection that fits the user's mood. The mood is shown on the indicator of the Miko headphone when the user is focused, when user is in drowsy and stressed. Miko provides a new experience which we call music serendipity by detecting the user's subconsciousness through their brain waves. That is Miko system. And uh, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, this is a demo with Julie Watai. She's my friend. Uh, now she is trying a Miko headphone prototype. Uh, Miko headphone detects her brain wave and searching uh, the music that fits her mood. And she is a gadget lover, so she, uh, she excited about Miko. And so the Miko system recommend her to the song that uh, is up-tempo. And 
this LED, LED indicator also shows her status. She is a photographer. So when she holding camera, <laughs> exclamation mark appeared. <laughs> and we had a demo at South by Southwest in this year. Many music lovers visited, visited our booths and tried Miko system. That was exactly the band I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. That's really cool. The application creates the playlist so you can play music automatically and you can skip if you want. Wow, that's really awesome. <laughs> Is it going to play? Yeah. This is the music from your subconsciousness. I like it. Okay. Does it fit your mood? <laughs> this is Carlos' song. <laughs> Many people enjoyed our Miko system. Okay. This is great. Yeah. And <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Okay. And now we are still developing Miko system and uh, implementing sequential running system for Miko database to provide Miko for everybody. Please let me arrange the flow up till now. By Neko Mimi, we redesigned de human to human communication. By Miko, we redesigned communication between human and music, selecting music from our subconsciousness. Neko Mimi and Miko and other our products are not tools for controlling something. It's not our purpose that turning the lights on, changing TV channels by using brainwave computer brain computer interface. But we want to communicate with all things around us. Communicate with person, communicate with machines, communicate with room, communicate with home, communicate with cities, communicate with transportation. In the near future, they understand our feelings and we will start new relationship between them. Let me talk about future. How will computer evolve? This is NVIDIA's roadmap for computing. Compare Tegra 3 with Parker. In just two years, processing power increasing 50-fold. This is an incredible rate of growth. But the point is different. At the same time, current generation CPUs will have developed, uh, dropped to one-tenth of their price today. And size reduce is also important. Our left, at left is the modules used in Nekomimi. In just two years, it reduced in this size, three millimeters square. My focus is not on high-end performance, High-end CPU performance will continue to grow. On the other hand, the cost and size of low-end CPUs will dramatically decrease. For me, this is the trend to look at. As CPUs become small and their cost radically reduced, computer will become embedded everywhere. The computer would be everywhere. Tables, chairs, walls, curtains, windows, air conditioning, 
lamps, doors, everything around us. There will be an estimated more than 37 billion devices in everywhere and connected each other by 2020. It means everything will be smart. Wearable device. A lot of wearable devices will appear. They will connect us with smart objects and autonomously develop new functions. I think it's an emergence of new intelligence. Then the rules of our information society will change. From searching information to creating information and communicating with new intelligence will require, require new interfaces. I believe those interfaces will respond to feelings and emotions. I think it's a kind of emotional interface. Well, Last week, I saw a movie, Pacific Rim. From this movie, this movie features a new brain-computer brain interface called Drift. Call the drift. When you drift with someone, you create an incredibly poignant connection. Both pilots can see all of each other's memories and all of each other's secrets and information in each other's brains. Every memory, good, bad, everything, they become one. Two pilots, Two pilots share the their page. memories, senses, and emotions by using brain-computer interface called Drift. If this, this technology really appeared, it would be incredible. However, there is a big problem to realize drift. Maybe we can measure brain waves and convert feeling into parameters. But we still don't have a feedback system that can transmit those feelings directly to others. Then I found a report about new technology. This robot hand gives sense feedback to users. The user's nerves and the robot arm are fused together with conductive polymers to create a biohybrid neural bridge that gives touch feedback and DNA nanotechnology. DNA nanotechnology will probably develop these sense and feeling based interface further. DNA nanotechnology use DNA as a component to design and build molecular robots and structure. In the same way, we might design an object in CAD software. If we start communicating with a new intelligence produced in connected environment, by using emotional interface developed by DNA nanotechnology, what might happen? Serendipity. I believe evolution of information technologies will create new information society where we can encounter many serendipities. Information technologies will deliver the right information to the right place at the right time, leading us to new, exciting experiences. That is my vision of our information society and communication in the not-so-distant future. And when I get back to Japan, I will start a new project called Serendipity Machines to create a serendipity using communication tools and technologies. If you are interested in this project, please join me, join us. And uh, one thing I have to tell, uh, the end of September, we will, Neuroware, release 
our new product called Neurocam. I cannot talk about details now, but please look forward to our new product. Thank you very much.